This video was recorded using an early access code to the new Sims 4 game pack Jungle Adventures given to me by EA. channel or welcome if you are new today we are starting my brand new mini let's play called adventures wanted based on the new sims 4 jungle adventure game pack we will be exploring everything in the game pack all of the jungle adventuring the temples etc you can already see a few of the characters so i'm going to be introducing them first but yes this is going to be a mini let's play just to kind of see what all is in this pack i have kind of it planned out what we're what we're gonna do and i have a storyline for these characters and i cannot wait to share it with you guys I haven't seen most things in this pack. I caught a bit of one of the streams by The Sims and I've seen the trailers, of course, most of them. But apart from that, I don't really know what's gonna be happening. So if I do anything really noobish, I'm really sorry. I promise I will figure it out. Anyways, let's go and meet the characters. This is Aubrey. She has just graduated with a bachelor's degree in science, majoring in archaeology. She wrote her thesis on the ruins and temples of Selva Dorada and came across ancient writings describing treasure. She couldn't afford to fund an expedition on her own, so she put up an ad online titled Adventures Wanted. The first replies she got were from the Nassar brothers. Karim and Kobe are young and reckless and they live for danger. Skydiving and rock climbing is everyday fun for these identical brothers, so when they heard of the opportunity to explore undiscovered jungle ruins, they packed their bags with no hesitation. This here is Professor Melvin. He's an unmarried teacher in his 60s who has spent his entire adult life teaching archaeology in universities. Aubrey was thrilled to have him on board as his knowledge and experience in the field will sure come in handy. And here we have Tessa Erickson, a housewife of a wealthy oil tycoon, completely bored of her life. All she wants is to travel, have new experiences, and feel the adrenaline run through her veins, no matter the cost. She doesn't care for the treasure and funded most of this expedition. Her husband wasn't going to let her run off into the jungle on her own and assigned one of his bodyguards to accompany her. This is Lieutenant Riggs. He's ex-military and has been in the service of Mr. Erickson for the last three years. He cares for Tessa a lot and will do whatever it takes to keep her safe. So now that you've met the characters, we can get into the gameplay. This is where we are staying. This is a field station that they rented mostly with Tessa's and her husband's money. It looks like this. Oh my goodness, Riggs, what are you doing? Trying to impress her or something? So they can all sleep up here. I think there's two bathrooms. Yep, one and two. There's just this like living room-ish area with an archeology span table. And then they've got a kitchen, obviously. Nice dining table outside. I'm really excited. I've done the cast review and build and buy review already yesterday. So if you wanna go check this 
out, you should totally do that. Oh my god, look at the birds. Look at the birds, yeah. And this world looks amazing. Like I said, I haven't seen much, so I'm really excited to get started. I've heard that the first thing you should do is head over to Puerto Lamante, which is the marketplace area, and buy some survival gear so that when you decide to actually go into the jungle, you have some, you know, some necessities. So it looks like we've got, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five different areas that we can discover. I don't know how many temples there are, if there is only one, which looks like this one here, or if there is multiple ones. I'm actually not sure because I totally didn't want to watch the stream where they were going into the temples. And I'm assuming you just go in there by entering one of these gates. This one looks like easy to get to from our house, so we'll probably start there, but you can't directly travel there. But yes, this is the Bellomisia jungle. The jungle is teeming with wondrous sights and hidden dangers. Oh my goodness. Dangers? Brave adventurers can explore the ruins of the ancient Omis Omiskins? O Omiskins? I don't know. Skilled sims and those equipped with gear from the marketplace will do well here. So yes, I'm not sure if all of our adventures will make it to the end of the let's play. I'm not sure how dangerous this world is. We're about to find out. We also got this area here, which says, which says discover jungle secrets. Determined explorers who forge a path through thick jungle can uncover secluded spots where rare treasures can be found. Local legends describe a temple that mystically rearranges itself hidden deep in the Miskin ruins. So that definitely sounds Sounds like one temple. And here is Puerto Lamante Marketplace. Come enjoy the sights and sounds of Selva Dorada. Pack some gear before heading out to the jungle or relax and experience different food and culture. Swing by the marketplace right by the cantina. So let's head over to the cantina. I'm not gonna take everybody. I think we should take, let's leave the brothers, brothers back there. I don't think they care for any survival gear. They just think, you know, they can do it all by themselves. They don't need any help. <laughs> they like food though, so maybe they should buy some food, but you know, it's fine. Maybe they can find somewhere to grill something, but hey, <gasps> cantina, El Arbol del Jaguar. <laughs> Okay, I don't know Spanish at all, so sorry, really sorry about my pronunciation of the, you know, things in this game. So here is the cantina. This area is gorgeous. I saw this briefly in the stream. Also, I recorded the intro, so I've been here a little bit. <gasps> There's a new food stall. What are you wearing? Oh my goodness, you've got nice hair. What's your name? Rodrigo Espinosa. Nice. So I think you should also talk to the locals here to find out more about the culture or the jungle. Okay, Antonella, are you... Are you a woman? Yes, you are. You're not just wearing women's hair. Let's go do a friendly introduction. So this here is Aubrey. I think she's going to be our main gal. I'm kind of obsessed with her. She's wearing mostly jungle adventures, but this hair is CC. You can find it on my Tumblr if you would like it for yourself. I think it's adorable. Also, this new radio station. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. It's lit. I love it so much. This music is called Latin Pop. It sounds amazing. Anyways, let's um let's see what we can ask her. Um order food. Ooh, order drink friendly. See, okay. So chat about local sites. Let's try that. And then let's try ask about the jungle. That's what Audrey Aubrey needs to find out. Sorry. <laughs> Why do you start calling her Audrey? I'm really sorry. Her name is Aubrey <laughs> with a B in there. And discuss local heritage. Yes! Silvadoradian culture skill acquired. Aubrey has begun to understand the Silvadoradian culture. She will be she will be able to ask about local sites and find out more about the local heritage. The local foods will be a strong culinary adventure. Ooh, 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 what's she saying? There are some great fishing spots in the jungle. If you can find them, watch out for the snappers in this jungle. You may be the bait. Oh, that's a bit scary. Also, I think Tessa here, I think she's definitely gonna get in here and order a drink for herself for sure she's just she wants to have fun she wants to have a drink so let's order a drink do they have something fancy enough for her our housewife from the suburbs hold on what should she get there's no wine or anything oh there's get that one that one okay so how's it going we're chatting with this woman what was her name again Antonella 
what else can we do? I want to find out more. Let's ask about the jungle again. Chat about local sites. It's very dark here. Oh, is that all that we can do? Discuss. Oh, no, yeah. I think that's all for now. <gasps> Level two already? Oh my god, this music, if it's loud, I'm sorry. Aubrey is becoming more acquainted with the local Salvadorana culture. She can try the local salutation or Salvadoran introduction. She will be able to share pictures of her vacation here. Ooh, a while ago, I made my way across the rope bridge. That broken dam may have caused some trouble, but it created a breathtaking waterfall. It would be a great place to make a special, to take a special someone for a romantic moment. Guys, that waterfall is in the intro. It is literally breathtaking. She is so, so right. It is the most beautiful sight in this entire world. There is a freaking rainbow and everything. Anyways, is this a local Martina. I want to try to do the introduction. Salvadoranian introduction. Let's see this. She's gonna get up, come over here. Okay, the professor is having a drink as well. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute. Then can we try the local salutation? What is this? She looks a bit awkward. Oh my god, look at the new dance move. Oh my, what is that? Shake that booty! Oh my goodness! Yes! Yes! <laughs> did she do it? I totally missed it if she did. This guy, this guy, Francisco! <laughs> he was totally, totally distracting me. Hold on, where is it? Oh, I can't do it again? Oh, uh, show pictures? Well, we don't have any pictures yet. Hold on, I need to do the salute, salute, what was it? Salute. Oh, uh, let's see it. Ask about the jungle. No, does oh there it is. Local salutation. Salute. Let's try to do it. Doesn't look too crazy. She's just kind of chatting. Oh my goodness. I need to learn these dance moves. Where is Tessa? Okay, she's here. Did she enjoy your wine? I think you should get another one, to be honest. Order a drink. Order another one, you know. <laughs> you can never have too many. Okay, so. Anyways, I think over here, yes. Okay, so over here, wait, hold on. Oh, there's a tourist, Bjorn, and a dog. <gasps> a pumpkin, there's strays in this world. Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's come over here. Let's have Aubrey come over here and look at the things that, who is this woman? Carolina is selling. Oh, Villeneuve, you have the same last name as the family in Windenburg. Or is it, is it the same one? Maybe I made that up. Who, who is called Villanueva? Someone is. Anyways, I believe you can buy some items from here. What do we got? We've got, ooh, Drake's Fire Quencher. What the heck is that? Super cooled ingredients extinguish the aggression of certain heat creating silver to radiant insects, allowing you to avoid searing irritation. Okay, well, we've got the money, so let's buy one of those. What's this? <gasps> liquid Rush, packed full of more energy per ounce than any other liquid. A great item to take on long hikes. You guys saw that something just happened with her aspiration. So, Aubrey here has got one of the new aspirations. There's two new ones in this pack. This one is called Jungle Explorer, because she wants to, like, she literally knows everything there is to know about these temples without going into them since she wrote her entire thesis on them but she really like it made her really want to get in there like just see everything with her own eyes and find the treasure so she needs to buy three goods at the marketplace eat a salvadoradia meal and view statue of madre Co cosecha cosecha is it this this woman right here are you the madre? I'm, I'm assuming that's the one. I think that's the one we saw in the, um, when I was going through the items from the pack review. What's this? Purchase Omiskin Stone Lotus. What do you do? I mean, I'm gonna buy it because why the heck not? Okay, we bought it. I really want to get the like shower in a bottle because I've seen that in the trailer. It looks hilarious. I think Tessa might buy a few items as well because, you know, she is pretty much loaded. Um, Maybe Professor here might come and buy a repellent as well. Do you want one too, Riggs? You can buy this one. Also, there was something when we first got in here that I totally forgot to show you guys. 
Here it is. For some reason, it's for Kareem, but here you go. Welcome to the jungle, Kareem. Some handy adventure items have been added to your inventory as part of your rental package. If you plan on exploring the Bello Misia jungle, you should first stop by the Puerto La Monte marketplace and pick up more gear. Now, I think since Aubrey is the lead for this expedition, she should be the one to get the items. I can't see them right now because he's not here, but I think he got a machete and some other... Maybe it was spider repellent, so we're gonna give those to Aubrey. Let's have the others come buy the new items. Okay, well, we're gonna go view the statue on our own, so let's just do it. Hello, Madre. Oh, she did it! So that was the one. That's good. There come the rest of our group. Hopefully the brothers are doing okay at home. I think we will set off first thing tomorrow morning into the jungle. We'll just spend the day here getting to know the locals. Is she hungry yet? Okay, once she's hungry, she's definitely gonna try a Salvador Radiant Mia. But what she should do is go use the bathroom and... Okay, who else have we got over here? We've got F Facundo? F Facundo? Uh, we've got this. Oh my goodness! I love these dance moves. I'm Oh my god, I'm living for them. How do we learn them? Can we like ask them to teach us or something? Because I really want to. Okay, Professor, what are you up to? You're just chatting. Do you want to get to know Carolina? Purchase archaeology table. You need that. Definitely let's buy that. Uh, let's do a friendly introduction to this woman here. Carolina, nice to meet you. It's Professor, yeah, he's really excited to be here. He's always wanted to go on an expedition, so hopefully he his skills will come in handy for us. Did we buy an archaeology table? I'm not really sure. Reveal brilliant uh, invention. We did! Pop up archaeology workbench. Well, that's great. That's what we need to do. All right. What are you up to, Riggs? Okay, well, he... Oh, he's gonna go... Rude introduction! Excuse me, you are giving a very fast... Very, very bad <laughs> first impression to our viewers here. Don't go do that. Go use the toilet or something. Goodness. Is that another pet right there? <gasps> it's little Yogi. Oh, that's cute. Oh my god. Who would bring back a pet from here? Not even sure. Okay, well, let's go talk to Francisco. Let's go do a Cell and a Radiant introduction. I need to learn these dance moves. What on earth? Like, literally, so cool. <laughs> Stop watching the tally. Okay, there we go. Oh, hello. Another new woman. This is Isadora. I love the names. <gasps> Tessa's learning how to sing. All right. That's a really cute introduction. I like it a lot. Let's ask about the jungle and let's do chat about local sites. Uh, discuss local heritage. I want her to learn the skill a lot. And let's do the local salutation. Salutation, sorry. Stock up on adventure gear before you set out. There are many natural dangers to overcome on top of taking care of your basic needs. Yeah, how do they take care of their basic needs? We need some like more stuff to buy. Level 3. Okay, this is going fast. You are doing so well, girl. Aubrey has started to perfect that local salutation and has developed a taste for the local food. Aubrey has unlocked new Latin guitar songs. Excuse me, that sounds great. Let's have her come order some food over here. Let's, she can haggle first. I also wanted to show you guys the other new aspiration. Uh, I gave it to Professor Melvin here. So it is called Archaeology Schol Scholar. And it, the first stage is excavate three dig piles or excavation sites and uncover artifact from dirt clump, which sounds very exciting. Okay, so let's haggle from this guy, Emiliano. Nice to see you. Yes, we got a price, some, a discount. What is it called? 25%. Let's order. Some, oh my goodness, okay. Oh no, I will not be able to say any of these names. I'm really, really sorry. Pastel, oh my goodness. <laughs> what looks good? Uh, oh my goodness, I can say the, uh, like the, the way they say the R, like grrr, I can say that because it's the same in Finnish, like arepa, but I don't know if that's how you pronounce these, but I think it is. Let's just have whatever this is, pastel de cam camarao, let's try that. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you know, why not? Heroic Haggler. Awesome. Very awesome. Okay, it's already getting dark. It's 5 p.m. This is such a pretty world though. Like, look at this. Okay, so here is another bit. Oh, did you guys see that? What? Milestone complete. Okay, that was quickly. Look, it's a parrot. It's a flipping parrot. You guys saw that just land there? Hold on. <laughs> Oh, it's cute! 
Are you just gonna sit there? No way, it's a parrot. Okay, anyways, we finished. We finished the first stage of our aspiration. Let's chat to the professor. Let's uh, talk about the dreams of finding the treasure, becoming a famous adventurer like Indiana Jones. Let's let's uh, describe a new idea. So yeah, next up we needed to achieve level three uh, culture skill, which we did. Find an area of the path. Travel deep into the Bellow Misia jungle, clear and pass through the path obstacles to discover hidden areas of the main path as you trek towards the Omiskin temple. Uh, examine three traps! Oh goodness! In the temple. Okay, well that's a bit scary. But hey, this food, she seems to be enjoying it. It's quality normal. This is really pretty with the fairy lights. I think I'm gonna send this guy, go to lodging. How's Tessa doing? What are you up to? Oh, okay, I think she was, she's singing. Okay, Tessa, you can go to lodging as well. Um, we and the professor will follow you in a second. I wanted to buy more things. Oh, 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 can we buy these? Oh, there's a cat. Oh, it's the Yogi. Hold on, there's more things here. What are these? Oh, Miss Gandol. Is this a collection or something? Uh, it's soft, snuggly, and makes a great souvenir for budding young archaeologists. Uh, Tessa is an only child, so... She doesn't need those right now, but what the heck is this? <gasps> Grilled cheese ready to eat. Um, yes, we need some food for our travels. Uh, the GCRE is a compact and nutritious grilled cheese sandwich. That doesn't look like a sandwich. For an on-the-go explorer. Use now or in a hundred years, it will taste the same. Gross! Okay, well, Professor, you should probably buy some- Buy some two. Come buy this one. You buy one else. Buy buy all of these so we can give them to the rest of our group once we go home. Anything new here? Oh, that looks like the spider repellent. Yes, buy a spider repellent. We want to be well geared. At least, you know, these guys who are actually, like, know something about the exploration. Okay. What's this? What's this guy? Purchase traditional harvest basket. I mean, why not? Let's buy one of those. I think that's pretty much it. Still no shower in a bottle, but I think we're okay. Yes, what an incredible incredible combination of flavors. Now that Aubrey has eaten pastel de camarao, she can now make it at home whenever she wants. Though, how tasty it is depends upon her home-style cooking skill. Well, that's okay. She has purchased everything. All right, I think we're ready to go home. Look at this. This is a great place to come. For some fun, it is totally packed full. Okay, I guess we're gonna go home. Did we actually, like, get anything from- What? Show respect? Hold on. I was gonna view it again, but if we can show respect, view together, we are gonna do this. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, well that's cool. Let's go back to lodging. I don't know if that did anything. I think he's about to order some food. Oh no, he left his food behind. No, Planatos Fritos. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, I'll meet you guys back at the field station. Ooh, back at the field station. And then tomorrow morning, first thing, at like 7 a.m. or something, we will head out into the jungle. All right, it's the morning. It's actually 8 a.m. already. Everyone's just been getting ready. Their needs are doing like literally perfectly and I didn't cheat, I promise. I promise I didn't cheat. They just all went to bed early. They've all taken showers and um, what are they called? <laughs> Use the toilet in the morning. Like there's only two bathrooms, but they did fine. Riggs made them some breakfast. They've got some scrambled eggs with bacon. Everyone's done pretty much. So I think it's, um, it's time. Are you done with your shower? You're done with your shower. Okay, so. Let's see. So this is the world. Was it this way? No, this way is another little villa. So over- oh, okay, over here. This is a little campsite, I believe. I don't think we can go in there without traveling, but- but this! Oh, there's a sign! Oh, first of all, let me just form a group so they can all come together. That would be very, <laughs> very convenient. Okay, so let's go here together. Excuse me, read poison awareness posting? Read preparation checklist. Um, we're gonna do both of these. Where can you travel from here? I don't even know, but we're not gonna try that. Maybe you can travel once you've opened these. I'm not really sure, but hey, let's um, let's see them all. Are they all coming? Everybody's coming. Come on, where is everyone else? Okay, Riggs, let's go. You are running in place, girl. And then we're missing Kobe. Are you coming? Oh, there he is. He's coming. He's just 
a bit of a slow bro. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're here. I don't know if they'll all stay here, but that's okay. Okay, let's read the poison awareness posting. And is she... Okay, she's just viewing the gate, I believe. Caution, in cases of poisoning, please consult with local sims for antidotes. Okay. Oh my god, look at them just working out. Uh, it's important to prepare for the many dangers lurking in the jungle with the right adventure gear. Check the marketplace vendors to see what helpful items they are offering. The selection is always changing, so check back often. Yes, we totally noticed that. Okay, so, <gasps> clear path with hands. Higher gardening skill uh, will be less likely to hurt their hands. Clear path with machete. Well, we've got a machete, so I think it would be more time efficient to use a machete. It's 9 a.m. We're ready to go. Oh, Brie, you've got this. Show everyone that you haven't brought them here for nothing. You are a strong, independent woman. Look at those brothers back there. Riggs, where are you going? Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's just see if we can go through this. And the next episode, we will see what's on the other side. And I want to make this episode too long, but it probably already is. But hey, we are trying. Okay, Aubrey? You go, girl. Oh my goodness. I love her, though. How much do you guys like her? Who is your favorite character so far? I would love to hear. I'm really excited to be playing this for a little mini let's play. Okay, how's it going? <gasps> okay, can you guys hear that? Hopefully. <gasps> oh my god! Aubrey was forcing through to some thick vines a little too enthusiastically when her- What?! Machete flew out of her hands and was lost forever in the thick jungle. No! How do we get another machete? No one was selling a machete and she's gone. Where where have you gone? <gasps> no, 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 no. No rabbit holes, please. Oh my goodness. I think this might be a rabbit hole. I'm hoping the temple isn't a rabbit hole. <gasps> oh, capybaras! Is that how you pronounce them? Capybaras? Oh my goodness, look at the little baby. As Aubrey emerges into a clearing with the watering hole, she comes across a small family of capybaras out for an afternoon drink. They look adorable, though the smallest one looks a bit scorched and upset. Should Aubrey attempt to see what's wrong or leave them in peace? Watch and enjoy or cautiously approach. High charisma skill leads to better results or heal her capybara. There's no Faraday fizz in the Sims inventory. <gasps> Oh, I want to heal the scorched little capybara. Well, we're going to approach them. We're going to try. <gasps> capybara! Oh, that's adorable. Aubrey sits with the capybaras for a long time until they realize that she's not a threat. Aubrey slowly approaches the hurt capybara without startling it. After washing the capybara off in the water, she examines it to see if it's okay. It doesn't seem hurt, just a little spooked. <gasps> oh... As the capybara swims off, Aubrey notices something shiny in the water and fishes out a prize. <gasps> Look, what? She's here? What? Oh my, what the on earth is happening? What did we get? Oh, we got a shiny light. All right, I'm going to have everybody come through here together. And next part, we will continue to see what's on this side of this little portal gate. I'm really excited. Maybe we can even find a temple. Give this episode a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're new here. And make sure to turn on the bell notifications to be notified when I upload the next part of this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye! This